Okie dokie, well, good morning everybody, and, um, after doing my cast video a couple hours ago, um, I thought I'd go ahead and, um, do another one of these, uh, these looking over such and such class videos. I did the same thing with Druid, like, probably like a week ago, but, um, uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and do the same thing with the Ranger class, mostly to find out, uh, why they're such a, why they're such a heavily maligned class. I guess uh, they're considered one of the worst ever in a uh, fifth edition D&D. So once again, I thought I thought I'd go ahead and just find out why. But like usual, oh excuse me, I'm gonna have some music playing in the background. But uh, I I know the name of the band is Abstract Aeon or something like that. Um, it's their. Ignis, Natura, Renovator, Integra. Almost sounds like spellcasting. So, but anyway, um, now I, when I played, the, when I downloaded this about a month ago, um, it was free to use. I don't know about now. I, I don't want to, I tried, it's, it was no longer on my hard drive, so I had to re-download it, but the problem is, is the downloader I used decided to stonewall me like it's taking forever to download <clears throat> so I don't have time so I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk and go ahead and play this anyway although I can't with music like this I can't really see it being copyrighted and um and I think I might have messed up yup didn't quite have that right Thought something was off. Here we go. Okay. Anyway, um, abstract Aeon, um, a bunch of bunch of a bunch of unpronounceable words. So I'll have that running in the background. Oh, and also, I'm ha I've been having major uh, major uh, headphone wire issues. Like, it, it has to be, um, I have to have it set in a certain way on my headphones. Otherwise, I only hear music coming out of one ear. So, yeah, I gotta, I've had this headphones, I've had these headphones for probably about 10 years now. So, it's time to retire them. But, not for lack of trying. Been look, been out looking, but can't find anything that does what uh, this one does. So, and then... And then another reason why I wanted to why I wanted to look over the uh, look this class over is I wonder if it's anything like one of my all-time favorite classes in uh, World of Warcraft. Um, it was the Shaman class. Um, technic specifically, it was called an Enhancement Shaman. Um, they were uh, they were dual wielders. They dual wielded weapons, and they um, they were. They're, they're kind of a combination of melee DPS, ranged DPS, or I, sh I should say caster DPS, and healers. So, and just like druids, oftentimes they could, or at least back in the early 2010s, when I first started playing WoW, um, at least back around that time, they were, they were capable of doing all three of those roles, like on the fly. Um... In later updates, they pretty much they pretty much neutered that. Now they're just they're just a, a melee DPS with elemental attacks. So, but like I said, I was kind of curious as I was kind of curious if the ranger, if it had any kind of aspect of an enhancement shaman. If they did, I might act I might actually create one. But again, we'll 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 see as we go on down to go on down to check this out. Class details, I don't really care much for the lore. Um, I'm not a very outdoorsy person in real life. I'm an urban guy. So, this is already going to be going over my head. Shrugging off the wave of fear. 
half elf whistles to the hawk. Okay, so there's a. Uh, so there's almost there's almost a uh, there's almost uh, like the hunter on World of Warcraft. The hunter was like that too, like it always had a pet by his side. Okay, so yeah, I guess there's a little bit of that in here. I mean, here's here's what I'm looking at right here. It whistles to the hawk that circles high above him, calling the bird back to his side. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is almost like the hunter class in WoW. I mean, but but to be sure, I don't really care. I didn't I didn't really care much for hunters. I'm. I'm more of a melee person. I'm not a range. I'm not a range guy. They learn to track their quarry as a predator does. I know this is a Russian rebel. Bombs are concentrated techniques that are between. This is something else too. I think this was uh one of people's biggest complaints against rangers. They're only good against uh, specific foes. I think you had to you had to pick one or two hated enemies, and you got a you got like an attack and damage bonus against them or something like that. So, but but yeah, um, they sound like they're almost like the hunter class, and wow. I'm uh, doing a sound check at the moment. Okay, close enough. I gotta look at... Wait. Yeah, it looks kind of scrunched. Oh, well. If you guys played RPGs at all, this is going to be all too familiar to you guys. Almost a ball throwing that one. Most of the veteran, black mark, no comments on the drive-back. Based with city by the veteran, the cross of mine about the heart. I'd probably lean towards this here. Compassion. Consider the nature of the train in the cave in particular. Um, again, I am not a very outdoorsy person, so... So, the... The great outdoors... It, it's gonna kind of go over my head on this. Like I said, um, I'm only on here for two reasons. One, to find out why, uh, what, why the Rangers are so, or why the Rangers are as bad as people say they are. And then two, I want to see if there's a, if there's an enhancement shaman from WoW in here somewhere. Otherwise, if I was to ever have a backstory, mine would probably would be like that at Grizzly Adams. Like you got, you got blamed for a, or you you got blamed for a crime you didn't commit, so you had to flee to the woods. Yeah, same thing here. I think this is up. One of the biggest reasons why people don't like the Ranger class. There's, they're over specialized. It's almost like the DM have it's like the DM is forced to actually put some of this Ranger's hated creatures in his dungeon just just to make it worth the Ranger's while to keep playing. Yeah, 
and I think um years ago when I first um when I first picked up third edition um I actually created a monk on there that kind of did this he um he also acted as a a forest guide like guiding people and stuff like that so there's a the one I created at that time had a little bit of ranger in him Yep, this would probably be me right here. Strength and dexterity. Like, but uh, like I said earlier, there are um the uh, the enhancement shaman and wow, he was a dual wielder that was that also um he was also uh, a ranged. A range, or not a range. I keep saying range. Uh, a, a caster DPS, as well as a healer. So. Ranger Arch type. Natural Explorer. Land Stride. Yeah, like I said, like they were saying, um, it seems they're being uh, over specialized. Barrel senses, bow slayer. And, um, oh, so you get to choose three then. Well, if I'm a ranger living out in the woods, naturally I'm going to pick survival. This might be something that I'd come back to, but by default, I always I always want to go with insight, investigation, and perception. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. I'm starting to get a little tired. Tracking, hunting, even. Whoops. So that's what that does. Oh, damn. I got put up at, at the top again. Well, luckily there's that. Oh. about it. And, yep, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing more and more of this. They're over specializing. Uh. That strikes me as not often enough. Sixth and fourteenth And again, I think this all this also kind of puts your DM in a bad position too, because now he's forced to add these hated monsters into his dungeon, even if he doesn't want to. You know, again, just to make it you know to make it worthwhile to play your class. You no, know, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. Yeah, here we go again. particularly familiar with one type of natural environment. Again, they're over specializing. I mean, part of it I understand. You know, uh, if you... You know, if you grew up in a certain, one certain type of environment, yeah, you'd, you'd be familiar, but... You know... I wouldn't say... You know, I wouldn't say you'd automatically know every, you know, every single land type out there, but, you know... I... I'm guessing what they're gonna do is they're gonna do something like this. At six, you might you might learn extra an extra terrain type at sixth and fourteenth level, but again, I don't think that's often enough. You know, what if the course of the what if the course of the adventure you're in is taking you a different territory? I mean, you're a ranger. You you know you basically grew up in the outdoors. You have a background in the outdoors, so you. 
yeah, here it is. Choose one type of paper terrain. You know, so if you grow up and say, if you pick coast, what if, um, and again, this, this kind of makes it hard for the DM, because now, in order, again, in order to, in order to make your class worth playing, he's gonna, he's gonna have to shoehorn in, he's gonna have to shoehorn in some coastal aspects of the campaign he's running. But, going back to what I was originally wanting to talk about, um, what if the DM decides not to do that? Instead, has your guys doing a bunch of forest quests, a bunch of forest adventures. You know, if you're a ranger, you know, you grew up in the outdoors, you should have a, you know, you should be able to, you should be able to natural explore. Now, I, I, you know, I totally get you not getting this immediately. You know, you have to spend some time in the forest. You know, maybe have a, maybe have a survival check. Like if you, every, every day that you're in, you're in a forest setting, make a, I would probably say make a disadvantaged survival roll. Meaning you roll two 20 sided dice and you keep the worst of the two. You know, maybe make, you don't do that. Make a survival roll at disadvantage. You know, and, and, and if and when you actually do pass it, then you get natural explorer with the forest. And it just, they, it's, I mean, it's not exclusive to 5th edition. I think uh, a lot of other games are like this, level locked abilities. You know, so, but here, let me, let me just keep, let me just keep going on down. When traveling for an hour or more on your favorite terrain, and you can't get lost, you can't look at danger, if you're traveling alone, <laughs> same thing here. I mean, same thing here. Yeah, it... level lock crap it, I can't I can't see why it would take if I can't see why it would take you six levels like if say you got if say uh, you reach level two and you guys are now doing desert adventures I really can't see why it would take you it would take you five levels to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do in desert I mean, this is the kind of thing that I would expect, like, maybe a non-ranger to go through. You know? You know, like some, some city-dwelling mage. Yeah, I could see it, I could see it taking him four or five levels to figure out how to move around in a area he's not accustomed to. But, I mean, a friggin' ranger? I mean, it, it shouldn't have to take him five levels to figure this out. But once again, like I, like I said earlier, is maybe it's kind of an alternative. Like every, every day or even every week, maybe make a survival check at disadvantage. And if and when he does make that roll, then he, then he gets the um, favorite terrain or the natural explorer in that area. I didn't come here to talk about all that. No, but I was just... I mean, again, I'm only here, really here to find out. It just... It was just one of the things that kind of bugged me. I think, uh... My favorite class, the Monk... I kind of saw some of the things they had in there, too, that kind of irked me. It's like, level lock stuff. But again, this is probably what I'm here for. You adopt a particular... Two weapon fighting, this is what I'd be interested in. And then spell casting, same thing. Okay, so... Alright, 
Alright, first thing I want to do, I should have done this before I started on this video. Um, the window might look a little wonky at first, but I'll, I'll try to fix it as soon as I can. Yeah. So, let me, uh, let me fix that real quick. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add another tab. So, I'm going to fire up the, the Ranger spell list to see what they have. They'd have a brief description on these. I kind of get what some of them are. Oh, there we go. All you gotta do is click it. Some of them, okay. No air resistance to the trigger damage type of thing. Oh, okay. So, somebody throws a fire off, a fire bolt at you. Yeah, you can, you can capture it. You can basically throw it back at them. Set an alarm against the water. Okay, so. Absorb elements, a little bit of an enhancement shaman back, uh, aspect to it, but yeah, I don't, cure wounds, cool, but unfortunately you have to actually touch the target. So far, I'm seeing a few, uh, a few healing, uh, healing spells they can do. But on the downside, though, you have to actually touch them. Um, in World of Warcraft, the the healing spells that an enhancement shaman can do are instantaneous. Or they're, I mean, they're they're instant, and they're um, you can use them at range. You don't have to. You don't have to get within melee range of one of your party members. Oh, you gotta be a... You gotta have a bow and arrow for that one. Flame arrows, lightning arrows. Double checking something. Plant growth protection from. Summon bay, water breathing, water walk. Oh, the. The shaman class and wow, I think they have these too. Like you could, uh, I think. I think they have an ability that allows them to walk on water, I think. I'm not seeing any, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any lightning bolts in here. That was something the, uh, Enhancement Shaman had in WoW. 
Um, summoning. Um, you can do lightning bolts. You can also do chain lightning. Yeah. Oh. Can't look at that one. So let me go back to first level. So yeah, cure wounds. Um, Zephyr Strike. Oh, can't look at that one. So, almost, but not quite what I'm looking for. Like I said, I'm just looking for, like, uh, again, I'm looking for things like uh, lightning bolt, chain lightning. Um, and uh, they, had, um, they, had a, they had a chain heal that they could use. Um, then they also had a single target healing, all of which can be used at range. Like, you don't have to run up next to them in order to cast it. So, but, but, but so far, definitely don't see me uh, creating a ranger. Like I said, spell-wise, almost, but not quite. Oh, okay, Arch-type. Um, kind of like what the, uh, what the monk had with their, with their various ways. types of creatures are present within one mile of you. Uh. This, is, this is a this is pretty much standard issue with all the other classes. Assuming you can't do this in an urban setting. start over the album. I forgot it was a short one. Uh. 18th level. The DM in your group allows you to use feats. I think uh, there's a feat called Alert, which uh, it prevents uh, it prevents people from surprising you. Uh, you get like a plus five bonus on initiative, and um, when you attack a creature you can't see, the ability to see doesn't impose disadvantage. Um, and there. It, Alert, the alert feat also had kind of a flip side. Um, hidden or stealthy enemies don't get an advantage on rolls against you. Like if they're trying to sneak up on you, they don't get that advantage. So, location of any invisible creature. Again, I believe, uh, I believe alert, alert has that same thing too. Again, they can't, they can't surprise you. So you could you could theoretically you could get that you could take that alert feat long before you get a 18th level. So yeah, kind of pointless here. Once that into your terms, you can enter with the one. And here we go again. While we're specializing. Okay, Beastmaster. Yep, here it is. This is the this is the hunter class in World of Warcraft.
So, I'll, yeah, I'm just gonna skip that. But like I said, Beastmaster, it looks like the Hunter class in WoW. Uh, Fae Wanderer, Wa uh, Fae Wanderer. monk the character that I created it kind of has this too like uh, you can um you can use your unarmed strikes to deal necrotic damage to the target but you can only do it once per turn is too classic issue although not as bad and not as bad as earlier editions earlier editions had that once per day crap no thank you having that in place basically makes that ability too awesome to use I mean unless uh, unless it's like a unless it's a situation that's like glaring at you right in the face most other times, you ain't gonna use that ability. Not when you can only use it once per day. Darkest places. So, basically, Shadow Rangers. Jammer Ranger right here, so... said that really the uh, the Beastmaster archetype that again that's the hunter in a while so Shamans don't have this, though. Whirlwind. Invasion. Okay. 
reach you with an attack unit. The hunting down creatures of the night will look our magic. Monster Slayer, Vampire Dragon's Feet. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a kind of a Ravenloft Ranger right here then. Maybe a a mage hunter. So this is a uh, this is a uh, somewhat along the lines of probably my all-time favorite skill in any game, Slayer and RuneScape. again you can use it um, number of times equal to your wisdom modifier now I know on my monk my monk's uh, wisdom is like 15 so I think that's I want to say plus 2 so I'm still thinking either plus 2 or plus 3 but basically not enough times for me to to really want to use this again it's they're too awesome to use yeah I regain all two or three charges but I have to do like a full-blown long rest so nope focus your iron one pro uh. Yeah, yep. Magic Slayer. Swarm Keeper. <laughs> Bring a Beekeeper. Swarm. over all that um but my verdict um i the way i'm the way i'm reading it there it looks like uh i probably agree with i probably agree with a lot of other people they're too over specialized i mean they got too many features that don't mean shit if they're not in the if they're not in the right territory or, and or not not you know not attacking the right enemy And plus, on top of that, they're, um, they're, they're, it's a rural class. Like, they ain't gonna be that useful in an urban setting. So, there's also that as well. You're gonna have, you're, so, it's gonna force DMs to spend at least part of their campaign having them, uh, running around in the woods. You know, again, just to make it, up, just to make it worth their while to play a ranger. Uh, but otherwise, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do a, a quickie dicky thingy, thingy and, um, why the ranger is so bad and would it make a great enhancement shaman. So, I think mean, the answer on that one is almost, but not quite. So, uh, but otherwise, thanks for, well, thanks for tuning in and listening, or, excuse me, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.